hello hi angels welcome back to my channel i'm glad to see you i'm so happy to see you and as you can see i've already made the cocktails so i'm starting this video i realized i didn't do an intro before making the cocktails so i decided to do an intro then make the cocktails all this i show you how they're done how they're made if you're interested you stick around if you want to see everything you can see the sunrise so yeah, <clears throat> I'm doing an intro after I've already made the cocktails. So please watch through, see how I made all these cocktails and I hope you learned something. Making a sugar syrup, one cup of water, one cup of sugar, the syrup is ready, don't let it caramelize. So, you can store it in jars for future use, but for now, I will put it in two different cups so that it can just cool down. And then I also want to have one with a vanilla flavor and another one without van vanilla. So, I'll separate it like that. Then I have my vanilla essence. I put vanilla in that one cup. Let it sit and cool down. This other one doesn't have vanilla. You can see the difference in color. So I let it cool down because when you're using this syrup for for the mocktails or for your juices, you need it to be very, very cool. You don't need to use it when it's hot. The first mocktail I'm uh, preparing today is um, blueberry mint. So I will take a glass and my blueberries which i have already washed put them in that glass then i'll use my pesto and i will just smash them so what i will do i will add um, a little bit of mint just uh, two leaves so that i can incorporate those flavors and i will just Mix it in with the, with the berries. So now this is my serving glass. And this is our crushed uh, blueberries. So I'll pour it in there. I will take my syrup, which has a um, vanilla essence. I put... This one you put depending on how sweet you want it to be. So I've put only four spoons. And then after that, I will take uh, my ice cubes. Make sure to use, um, you see how my ice cube is looking like? Just use crushed ice cube. If your fridge is uh, able to give you crushed ice cubes, the better. If not, just... Uh, blend them or grind them whatever yeah then i will fill it with the normal ice cubes so what i do next is um i take the glass which i was using to mash the blueberries in and i take a sprite i pour it oh slowly I transfer it into my serving glass see that that's enough and then what I will do next is I will garnish it with um, blueberries I will put some blueberries there and mint and mint so this is my blueberry mint that's my first uh, mocktail recipe as you drink the blueberry mocktail you will then get to mix the ingredients from down up so yeah that is our first drink look how the base is looking and it's so good it's quite healthy and before we forget i almost left this out 
I need to put a splash of uh, lemon. Yeah, so I will just squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. And voila. That is it. That is our blueberry mint mocktail. This next uh, mocktail is a um, very refreshing mocktail. I picked a uh, very big uh, strawberries and I will just slice them into small sizes so that it's easy to so that it's easy to smash them. I'll take my glass, just a small glass, and I'll put my strawberries there. Then I will again get in there with my, I will just uh, smash them, smash them until I'm satisfied. The reason I don't want to blend my fruits is because I don't want the consistency to be too smooth. I want a little bit of chunky in the fruit, in the fruits. And I want someone to be able to tell what kind of fruit is it, even without testing it, just by looking, so that they can easily pick um, a mocktail which they prefer. If you notice, I'm doing all this on a board, so that if something pours, they can easily pick it up and use it again. So that consistency is good enough for me. I like it. So what I will do, I put two leaves of mint. This is my serving glass. I will pour my strawberries inside. Then I will go in with the syrup, which doesn't have a vanilla essence. Just enough to taste. Depends on how sweet you love your mocktail. Then we'll go in with our, our crushed ice, get a slice of lemon, just squeeze in a bit of lemon, then just garnish with a berry, like that, and you notice I've left these leaves up here, because I just want it to look nice and cute, and then a little bit of mint. To make it look so cool and it will look like a fruit coming from that country so yeah that is our strawberry strawberry refreshment and as you can see it's quite colorful it's quite good and it's just the perfect one for weekend refreshment perfect Actually, as you can see, in my drink, I've not put any, any additional, either water or soda or anything, because the crushed ice is already producing a lot of water. You can see it's already at this level. It's producing a lot, a lot of water. When you do this, you can already see, yeah? So there is no need of adding more water. But if you prefer, you can put some sparkling water, not a lot just a little very little sparkling water you see it's almost full actually so it's not a must you put anything with this uh, mocktail cute right even you i know you'd really love me serving you this yeah so when you're coming to my place next time you just need to tell me which mocktail you prefer the next mocktail we are making is the sunrise I will pick my glass and I've cut a slice of lemon, put it inside. Don't worry about this, it's turned um, reddish because of the berries which I've crushed or smashed, but then I've cleaned it. So what you do, you smash the lemon gently, you can see the juices are all over, gently. Take my pineapple juice. 
I take my orange juice. I just stir to mix everything together. This is my serving glass. So I will pour my juices inside. Then I can put this lemon just inside like that. And then you can see the ring of the lemon. My ring of lemon stays there. So I'll put in the ice cubes like that. Then I push them down. So the ice cubes. I will put uh, my strawberry syrup. You can use the grenade. Grenade syrup, or you can make um what I'm using the strawberry syrup. You can also mix the hibiscus syrup and use it for the sake of the color. So I will tilt my glass like this and pour it. And this is our sunrise. This is how I make our sunrise cocktail. Or rather sunrise mocktail the syrup settles down and then you can see the shades are different then as it comes up the lemon peel is concentrated at this point so when you take everything you leave this lemon peel there and the three shades give the, the sunrise look or rather feel so that is our cocktail this is another Another one of our mocktail. So cute. It's so beautiful. I know you love it. You should also try making this one at home. So let's do the last one. So apparently I was not recording. <laughs> so I missed that first clip, but it's okay. So yeah, this other cocktail that I'm making, or other mocktail, is very healthy. I'm using a pomegranate. As the main fruit and it's going to be very healthy because I'm just using all fruits all through wow. removing these seeds feels like kutuato maindi kwa corn I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that thing of kutuato maindi kwa corn <laughs> if you prefer using gloves when doing this well and good if you prefer washing your hands like me well and good you know you just do what you feel comfortable okay with but at this point i would love to like use my nails so just want it real without the gloves yo <laughs> okay finally i'm done so wow My table is so messy right now. Okay. So the next thing, I'll just take a glass as usual and put my seeds in. This time, not all of them. And try and extract the juices. I'll take a separate glass and a small sieve. And I'll try and extract the juice. That is the much, ju much juice I've gotten from that. So I'll go back again. And try and see if I can extract more from that. As you can see, I'm still getting some more juice. But I think now I'm done. I think that's enough juice for now. So once we've gotten our juice, oh my god, I almost poured it. Then I'll take my grape juice. This one you can just actually juice it. It's not a problem. You can just juice it. But I already have done so much work, so I don't want to waste so much time taking the juicer and all that. 
So I'll just use the same process we've used all through. So I'll try and get some juice out of it, just the normal way, the kienyeji normal way. It has too much water. Let me try and just peel it quickly and smash it. That would be much, much far easier for me. Because the juices are splashing everywhere. But for this one, if you have the grape, uh, the grape, uh, the grapefruit juice, it's okay. It's it's fine to use the grapefruit juice. But um, personally, today I just chose to use the fruit itself because I have the fruits and I don't have the I don't have the juice. the juice is too much you can see that the juice is too much the juice is too much this is the beauty of the grapefruit the juice is a lot so i'll put um some sugar here oh and then my glass has been in the fridge for like 30 minutes so that at least it can have the the mist. If you have finer sugar, the better. Today I don't have finer sugar, so this is the effect you are looking for. So you put your glass in the fridge for that minutes, then you can just uh, do that. So to serve this, we start with our ice cubes. Not me. Not really. Just put like three or four. After the ice cubes, I will sieve my I'll sieve my grape juice inside. Just like that. So after we've put the, the grapefruit juice. I put two half slices of lemon on the side like that just half eh? very thin slices two of them just like that then after that I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon juice the inside and I will take our syrup, which is not vanilla flavored, a lot of white inside. At this point, I'll stir, I'll stir it. And for deco purposes, I'll make sure my two lemon slices are still together like that. If you want an alcoholic drink, at this point you can put tequila. Oh my God, oh la la, that's so delicious. Yeah? But we are take, we are making an alcoholic drinks. So the next thing we'll do, we'll take our um, our juice and pour it inside and just stir everything together. If you like, you can pour a little bit of the seeds on top, but they will sink definitely. So just like that to dress it and a little bit of mint. We just make it look funky, sexy. Yeah, so that is our, um, our drink for the day. Ooh la la, but it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. So yeah, that is it for our um, non-alcoholic cocktails for today. I hope you've learned one or two ways of making non-alcoholic drinks for your guests. Share with me in the comment section below of how you've liked everything yeah share with me in the comment section below of how you've liked everything and what else you would have handed, added to your cocktails to just make them look extra special so as you can see we are done 
with our mocktails or rather non-alcoholic drinks and i'm glad you've watched up to this far so what i want us to do is just test and see how they are so this one i called it what i called it uh pomegrita that is my name i gave this drink can you see it oh la la so as i've said this is my fave Oh my god you guys you should try this drink and um if you're a healthy kind of a person or rather dieting or watching your weight or you have like health complications like diabetes and stuff i forgot to tell you don't use the sugar syrup in your juices and in your mocktails or other cocktails because it's not healthy so what i would advise is where you saw me add um, a sugar syrup, you can always alternate that with honey. I think that is the best, most healthy way of doing it. Mm, I'll finish it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll finish that. I'm just forgetting like it's testing and oh, I'm all blown out. So I'm blown, I'm blown. So anyway, so the next one which I'm going to try is the blueberry mint and this is the blueberry mint as you can see you can see all the berries and everything but because it's the first one we made we did not mix so what you do once it's served you mix it just a little bit so that you can enjoy all the juices together and then we try and see how it's tasting mm. oh my god Wow. Oh my god, it's so yummy. It's delicious, you guys. You can't believe it. It's so good. Mm. Oh my god, this is so refreshing. You know, for that Saturday afternoon when the sun is out and all that, eh, someone is just quoting. So yeah, I'm saying for that afternoon, ah, it is, oh my God, I don't know what to say. Ah. Let me not talk so much and you say I'm saying it because I'm the one who made the mocktails. You try make the mocktails. Then come down to the comment section below and tell me what you found out. Was I lying or was I telling the truth? <laughs> Oh my goodness oh god you guys oh my god i'm i'm sold oh jeez. oh then i forgot to put a straw to this one let me try this one is a straw then i will change this is the sunrise this is the this is the sunrise And as you can see, that is the reason it's called the sunrise, because of the color effect. And when you mix it, then the, um, the change of color starts mixing up and it gives you all those beautiful shades. So let me test this and see how it is. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> and you can see my straw has just picked the syrup and a bit of orange and lemon and pineapple. Oh my God. And the sweetness, the drip. Oh my God, it's too much. It's, it's too much. So this is quite something. If you're a sweet tooth kind of a person, this is appropriate for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is quite, quite something. So, try it out as well. Let me know what you think. I think I'll just end up finishing everything here. Have you seen that? 
<laughs> oh my god i think i'll end up just taking everything alone by myself so i was saying i don't have a very fancy straws i'm just using the kawaida straws but then there are some straws i saw on um joy candy's channel the metallic one and i checked them on instagram i think i'll just order those ones because these kind of cocktails you don't need to take with these just no more straws you need like something nice and fancy something that is just as the same as the cocktail so let's see how this is oh my god oh the berries oh my god oh my god you guys Mm. and then this one actually you need to take it with a thicker straw so that when you sip you also sip the fruit up it's amazing it's good oh oh my god Just see that. Just see how the berries are coming up. Oh, just see that. See that, guys. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my God. And then when the berries come up, you can chew them because they're chunky. They're not in small pieces. They're chunky, so you can chew them and... Oh, oh, my God now i'll not finish if you guys have to watch me finish all these mocktails but they're amazing they are worth it trying just pick either one or two even all of them try them at home and come back and tell me how was your experience did you love them and remember the sugar syrup you put it depending on how sweet you love your drink and what else let's stay healthy we don't have to take alcoholic drinks like throughout sometimes you can just serve some something like this and someone will think it's um you know it's alcoholic when it's actually not it's fruity it's very healthy it's very refreshing and we go out there healthy feeling bubbly refreshed and you know good thank you so much and just for watching I'm glad you watched to this far and please if you've watched up to this far and you've not subscribed I don't know why please subscribe to support this channel click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video you are the first one to be notified and that way you will not miss out on my videos I love you Mwah. bye <laughs>